and today I'm going to be doing the BookTube Newbies tag. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> so I've got the questions right in front of me and a cup of tea, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first question is, why did you start this channel? And I started this channel as a platform to basically geek out about the books that I've read. Whenever I finish a book, I immediately want to talk to somebody about it, <laughs> and I think my friends and family probably need a break uh, from that. Number two is, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to BookTube? This was a tough question. I think, first off, that a lot of my books, probably 80% of my books, I buy secondhand. I think I have some tips and tricks to share with you all. Um, the second thing that may be fun or unique about me is that um, my parents are deaf as well as my aunt, um, so I grew up um, being fluent in sign language and I'm hoping that someday I'll get the courage to maybe film a video or two in sign language. Um, for now, all of my videos I make sure to transcribe and captions so they're accessible to my deaf and hard of hearing family and friends. Question number three is what are you most excited for about this channel? And I am looking forward to meeting people with similar interests as me. I am hoping that somebody will watch my videos that likes the same books as me and that we can talk about them and become internet buddies. <laughs> Number four is, why do you love reading? And I love to read because it helps me unwind at the end of the day. I, I have a hard time turning my brain off at night, and reading helps me, forces my brain to focus on something else, and it's productive, whereas worrying about things is not productive. And also, it's just really fun. This is something I really enjoy. Number five is what book or series got you into reading? And when I read that question, I immediately knew the answer. And that is Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. This book is so special to me. I, I remember in fifth grade, we had a student teacher named Miss Simpson, and she did a little lecture about reading and why we should like to read and what her favorite books were. And she was doing this because we were going to be having the Scholastics Book Fair, and she was trying to give us ideas on what books we could buy at the book fair. Uh, Tuck Everlasting was one of the books she mentioned, so whenever I went to the book fair, I bought it. And this is the first book that I remember reading. There's like some kids books, like, you know, picture books and stuff that I would consider like part of my childhood memories, but this is like the first novel I ever read or like first non-picture book like that I ever read. <sighs> I love this book. This book is so old. Let's I bought it in fifth grade, and I'm 27, so you can do the math. I've cleaned out my books so many times over the years, and this book always stays in my collection. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this book. It means too much to me. Number six is, what question would you ask your favorite booktuber? This was such a hard question, um, and I am going to cheat and steal an answer from um, Reads and Daydreams here on BookTube. In her BookTube newbies tag, she answered this question with, Will you be my friend? And that's so perfect, because that's why I'm here. I got on BookTube, I saw people that I felt like I had a connection with, they had similar interests as me, and I just genuinely want to be friends with people like that. 
the people I've seen on booktube so that would be my question will you be my friend question number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome and I think it's going to be hard to find time to film and edit videos um, also I think um, it'll be difficult for me to say what I want to say in a clear and concise way that's interesting to other people Number eight is, when did you start reading? And as far as I can remember, I've always read. Um, yeah, I've always been a reader. I think, though, that once I graduated college, I started reading every day, and it became part of my everyday life. Um, before that, I had a difficult time finding time to read. Question number nine is, where do you read? And I usually read in bed. Um, every night before bed my husband and I usually read and that's where I get most of my reading done. Otherwise I can read pretty much anywhere. Um, I read on the couch. I like to read on breaks at work. Um, anywhere that I need to waste some time I will read. I usually have a book with me everywhere that I go, just in case I need it. <laughs> and number 10 is, what kind of books do you read? I read all kinds of books, but I think I mostly read probably historical fiction or mysteries. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer, and today I'm going to be doing the book to newbie tag. Tag. The book to newbie tag.